prepared by Ms. Wigglesworth in recognition of National Magazine. I shall be your guide as we view the various exhibits. Here is your first exhibit, Vogue Magazine. Let's see what's inside.
show was fabulous, just like Broadway. Oh, it's always been one of my favorite musicals. Speaking of Broadway, I have a great idea. What is it? I'm going to do a presentation on the New Yorker magazine. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs>
Did you just have a meeting with Mrs. Bottingdale? I did, and she has been most helpful and agreeable. She's approved all our plans. She seems to be in love with this project. Speaking of love, Professor Kingsbury, how come you have a marriage? I guess I'm immune to that sort of thing. I have the perfect date for you, Professor. So? Who's that? Why, Mrs. Farthingale, of course. She is an eligible widow, you know. And I think she's taken a liking to you in recent weeks, Professor. Oh, whoever would have nothing to do with an old buddy that you like me? And besides, I like things as they are. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. Irma Farthingale is the type of woman that gets whatever she sets her sights on. From what we've heard, I get it. 
looked pretty good back then, if I must say so myself. All the memories. All the memories. I almost forgot. It's a picture of my old boyfriend. Boy, do I have a crush on him. Your best days I 
It is now. Oh, Professor Queensberry, what a delightful surprise. Taking a trip? Oh, well, I'm just hopping over to Paris. Have you ever been there? Yeah, you know, once briefly. It's a very interesting place. I remember the first time I went there. My late husband Chauncey and I went there on our honeymoon. And it should bring back some fond memories. No, Cornelius, um, uh, Professor. I don't live in the past. I think of this as a second honeymoon. And I am as excited as a schoolgirl, anticipating her first prom. I really love Paris. <laughs> Gentlemen, on 
the United States.
But I certainly don't know that he's a thing they do. I'm guessing. Well, that's terrible. And they seem like such nice kids, especially the ones that come in here. <laughs> if you ask me, it's the fault of the parents. Yeah. Now, when I was in school, we behaved. I don't understand what's gotten into this younger generation. I don't either. All right.
that this Wigglesworth is no longer with us. Aww. However, allow me to introduce our new librarian, Mrs. Thomas P.
Also to let you know what a wonderful cast we have here. Boy, we really worked hard this year. I think you can tell that. And we'd like to introduce to you tonight also our director, Deb Trudeau. Thank you. 